Hi guys, welcome to God's Reporter Christian Video Ministry. This is a place where we can come and learn, share, and discuss God's Word. I am your host, David Fry, and I'd like to thank you for joining me today, um, especially all my loyal viewers. I hope all is well with all of you, and I hope you learned something good from this video. Uh, if you feel, if you'd like to leave a comment, you can leave a comment underneath the YouTube channel screen, or you can also leave a comment on my Facebook page, God's Reporter, or you can private message me there. I also have a Twitter page where you can leave me a tweet, and I also have a Instagram page. Um, if you have any prayer requests you, or praises, you can send them private message to me on the Facebook page, or you can email me, excuse me, at godsreporter01 at gmail.com. That's G O D S R E P O R T E R 01 at gmail.com. I'd like to start out with a prayer before we get started. Father God, I love you and I thank you for today, Lord. I thank you for another opportunity to come and share your word with my viewers, Lord. I pray that they will learn something from you today through this video and they will go out and share it, Lord. Share these videos. I also pray for the victims' families of El Paso, Texas, Lord, and Dayton, Ohio, and all the other places we have had terrible mass shootings, Lord. I pray that you will give them comfort and peace, Lord. Give them closure, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I also pray for my viewers, Lord. Heal their sickness, Lord. Help them with their struggles, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Today, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really have anything prepared, but I've been praying for about it over the last two, three days, and God has told me, he said, just go and speak. I will do the talking for you through you. So that's what we're going to do, is just speak. Um, then there's also been a word that has been going around in my mind for the last two or three days that I think God has given me heart blind do you know what heart blind means the funny thing is I think I know what God is talking about when he told, gave me that word heart blind is a person that is full of selfishness um heart blind has they have nothing in their hearts but themselves. We've been raised in a society where it's all about me, 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 instead of about, about him, him, him. Um, when I was a child, I don't know if it was like that when you were where you are, but when I was a child, it was against the law the, to have anything open on Sunday. Um, you might find one gas station open or and they had to have one pharmacy open but other than that the streets were empty the parking lots were empty all except for the churches the churches parking lots were full and now it's the other way around everything is open everything people are in a hurry to get to the stores people are in a hurry to get to a restaurant people are in a hurry to get to everything but God's house and that's a shame you ever go to a, a parade and you see the horses with the blinders on their face that's because they they have to be focused on one thing that's what a heart blind person is they are focused on themselves they are focused on nothing else around them they don't have they don't do what God has asked them to do. They have no, they don't um, do acts of kindness toward others. They don't help anyone. They help themselves. They only do 
what is convenient within their life. They say, you know, doing God's will is not convenient with my lifestyle. It's not convenient with my scheduling. They schedule God around their life instead of scheduling their life around God. They don't put God as their number one priority. They put themselves as their number one priority. And that's what's wrong with the world today. We've been raised in a instant society. We don't have patience to wait on anything. We've been raised in a convenient society. If it's not convenient with our life, we don't do it. And that's bad. We have to go back and change things, put our priority, priorities back in order. We need to put Jesus as our number one priority. We need to get back into the churches. We need, whether it's convenient with you or not. So what if you miss a golf game? So what if you miss a baseball game? You know, so what if you miss your favorite TV show? Do God's will and he'll bless you for it. If you open your heart to Jesus, get rid of your selfishness and your hatred and your anger and fill it with Jesus, he will give you joy, happiness, love, and caring. He will change your life forever. We need to get rid of the blindness in our hearts. Let our hearts see what's around us. Help someone in need. Care for someone who needs help. Do something kind for someone. When I was growing up, that was the thing to do, is, go, is help somebody if they need help. Do something kind for somebody. Now it's just too inconvenient for we're too busy about our, doing things about ourselves instead of doing what's, what God wants us to do. God has a purpose for all of us. He has a plan for each and every one of us. If you open your heart to Him, He will reveal Himself to you. He will reveal His plan and His purpose to you and put you on that right path. You are not... We, you and I are not the impo most important things in this world. Jesus is the most important thing for every, for anything. Jesus is more important than anything you could ever imagine. Jesus is more important than you and I. He is more important than anything scheduled in your lifestyle. He's more important than your life. He died so you could live. Every sin we do is another pounding on that hammer, pounding those nails into his hands. Think about that. Do we choose to be a stranger to people and focus on ourselves and not help anyone? Or do we go out and choose to be a friend Choose the right thing. What are you going to do when you get to heaven? And Jesus says to you, he's the, He is the ultimate judge. We're all going to be judged. What are you going to say when He asks you what you did? Are you going to say, I chose to be a friend and do your will and help others and lead more people to you, Lord? Or are you going to say I was a stranger? I chose to be a stranger and focus on my own business and not help anyone and not lead anyone to you. I hope and pray you don't make that choice. Help a stranger today and make a friend. Lead him to God.
talk to someone about Jesus today. Don't talk to someone about yourself. For once in your life, we need to put ourselves on the back burner and put Jesus up front. We need to get back into churches. We need to get back into Sunday school. We need to get back into church activities. We need to get back into God. Take those blinders off your heart. And live for Him. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. This was a good video. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the words. I hope you have a blessed week. And until next time, from God's Reporter, God loves you, and so do I.